everyone. This is your Cancer Season Tarot Card Reading for this month. And this is all about, you know, your emotions, you know? What's, up, what's going on with your emotions? What is making you emotional, you know? What's got you in your feels? And some advice on how to get out of it, right? What got you stuck emotionally? Yes, let's go there. What's gotten you stuck emotionally? Like, literally can't get over that way. Like, you're drowning <laughs> in emotion. Sometimes, you know, people can't pinpoint it. Sometimes people can pinpoint it, but they don't want to deal with this. They act like they don't know. You know what I mean? You know what you know. Right, and just bury it down. So, you know, let's, let's look at what got you stuck with your emotions during this cancer season and I'm reading this at the time where um, the sun and the moon and Lilith is in cancer. I'm done. How y'all feeling out there, Kansas? Happy birthday. Happy soul return. Happy flight day. Happy um, born day. All that good stuff. How y'all feeling out there, Kansas? Don't be afraid. You know, you can comment below. I'm sure there's other cancers and other signs alike who can relate, right? So let's get started. We're going to start with cancers first. About what got you stuck emotionally? What got you stuck emotionally? All right. This is around Aries, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, and Mars. This is your tarot card reading for cancer season. So, <laughs> Look at that face. Hmm. So this is what got you in an emotional, you know, pause right now. Emotionally stuck right now. It's this hmm mentality, right? So are you trying to keep up the Joneses? Oh, no, you know, you were Aries. I'm oh, sorry. All right, and I'm looking at a chipmunk right now, okay? Are you, are you, are you... Okay, let's go there. Let's go there. Are you um, made some money recently or you blew up on social media or um, whatever you're doing, you seen this, this great abundance for what you created, which is what to be expected, Aries, okay? You are the head, right? Like, I know, I know. All right, well, slow your roll, okay? But, and you might be flossing, you might be proud of yourself, you might be spending here, you getting money on Patreon, you getting money on your PayPal, your Cash App, you know, all those other kind of um, services or whatever, and you getting the bling bling and the ding dings and the likes or um, whatever whatever you doing as far as career rise, as far as your personal life, it's just flourishing, you getting attention for it. You know, you ain't even got to beg for attention. It's just like coming to you. And it's hitting your account. And you, as it comes in, you spend it. You're like, hmm, shoot, I deserve this. I'm like, yes, you do. But in moderation. In moderation. Right now, you have Mars chilling at home, which is Aries, which is y'all. So Mars is inviting over to friends. Mars is having like a good old party, barbecues every like night, Monday through Sunday. And each night got a theme to it. Like it's so unique that you ain't, you know, you ain't never seen nothing like this. Aries is popping. They're like, hey, you know, everybody can see it. You need, and you know it. You know when people are looking at you, you know, in a good way. And you know when people looking at you in a bad way, but you know, we as humans know when people are staring at us, you know, some of us seem to have an attitude like, what you looking at? Or it might be like, yeah, I'm gonna fly, you know what I mean, keep on looking, but, or you were somewhere in between, just depending on the day and whose that is looking, right? But it's time to put respect to your money, to your brand, to your name, to your future. So, <clears throat> yes, it's okay to get into that situation where, you know, you treat yourself, you know, sometimes you need to buy some things in order to progress. So maybe you need to buy a particular tool in order to build this in order for it to get to that point. And tools can mean anything, you know what I mean? 
but you're investing into something to make it work. You know, that's good and dandy. And then you're trying to take a little bit for yourself to maybe get you a nice dinner. Maybe you never had a nice dinner before and you say, hey, I always wanted to eat at this restaurant since I was a child. Now I can afford it. Let me do it and let me invite some people. But instead of inviting 20 people, maybe you want to invite like your close you know, three, you know what I'm saying? Or something like that, or your close four. Or maybe it's just your close one, depending on how far back you want to cut back on that extra spending and to invest that into what your future, what you want to see your future. So start looking into putting some of that money aside to do what you need to do so that way your goals can be more impactful and it, be, it can become um, real quick real quick you know what i'm saying because you have taken that time excuse me to look into the future to prepare for that and then some of y'all just stuck in a rut period just like you know you just in the same cycle over and over um you know like you don't want to change you don't want to do anything you just want to keep things the same you know like the same breakfast the same lunch the same dinner you wear the same colors every day you know it's worked for you for this long so or this is what you've been doing for so long you haven't realized is that you're stuck in this rut this pattern and now it's time for you to break free you know this is cancer season so <clears throat> Go with what you're, you know, what do you, what do you feel that you need to, you know, um, do, you know, this is the time to, you know, be like uh, a wave and just flow on out, <laughs> you know what I mean, a wave don't stay in one place, a wave here is going to be a wave, the same wave that's going to be in Australia, you know what I mean, don't ask me the distance and the time, because I haven't calculated that, but I'm sure somebody knows, and if you watch it, put it below, because I am a Gemini and inquiring minds want to know, but there is a distance between a wave wave current here, reaching a wave current in Australia. So let's go. Let's break free. Ride these waves. You know, don't be so serious and stuck up all the time and just all up in just what you have to do. And then some of y'all, y'all have been so involved and so putting all this fire, this energy into getting them coins and stacking and getting what you need and getting what you want and getting what other people need and what they want because you got it like that. Or you looking to be like that, or how you know what I'm saying? You know, there's loved ones that's looking at you like, hi, what about me? <laughs> and this is Cancer season, Cancer season, Cancer new moon with Lilith and Cancer. Okay, so yes, there will be loved ones, close ones to you that will be looking for you to show them some attention and show them some love and show them some care. Do you know what I mean? Because you've been putting all this effort and energy over here that you kind of, you know, forgot over here. So kind of look around you. Go ahead, do like a 360, turn around, see who's around you, <clears throat> see who... But not everybody deserves to get your attention. Don't get me wrong, it's 2022. It's not so fluffy, fluffy like that. I'm not going to tell you that. But those who you know who needs, you know, your care, like your children, you know, your mom, maybe you, you, you know, you can get along fine. Some people don't get along with their moms, but your mom, you might get along with her. And you're like, you know, I didn't call for, her for a minute. Let me holler at her for a minute. Or, or you know, a guardian who raised you um, and that you're still cool with. You know, just people that you know you're still cool with and you want you want them to know that you care. Everybody else, whatever, they'll figure it out later or later you do something for them. But I'm just talking about your immediate heartstrings right now. You know what I mean? That immediate, like, ah, oh, if something was to happen right now, you will really be hurt right now because you wasn't there to check in on them that dumb people right there right all right so maybe you need to take some time and check on them even though it's a new moon you know and maybe you have some new ideas about how to balance getting what you gotta get plus saving some money so you can get to your goals faster but still yet loving yourself and treating yourself because ladies you know a good foot massage men come on now it's 2022 good foot massage let's put you in there a good you know um leg massage hand massage scalp massage they got so many things out there salt baths sound baths every kind of kind of bath spiritual bath you know uh yoga uh, I'm just going to go get me a new crystal. Oh my gosh, the the oh the nature out here is crazy. So yeah, balance that fire energy because it's a lot of fire energy. I mean, I'm just looking at a red tail nature thing all over the place. <laughs> 
So balance that out. Yes, the ideas is good. Yes, you know, where you want to go and where you want to be is great. You know what I mean? But don't overexhaust yourself. Don't get so high to Diddy. You know what I mean? Come down a little bit because you know that... But, 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 don't take it the wrong way, but if you go up high and you do it the wrong way, the fall is going to hit you so hard. You know, there is such things as highs and lows. So know that you don't want to be so fast and so quick, you know what I mean, where you burning yourself out. You burning bridges that you didn't want and you intentionally burn, but because you were so focused on this and you didn't balance your time, you didn't get to, um, you know, put your energy where it was supposed to be at that particular time when it was needed all right so go ahead use some discernment use some balance and you're going to be able to figure this all out where you can have your cake and eat it too all right aries i'll check y'all later